testing one two three hello guys welcome back to the channel line is with Jerko and we are commentating another battle from the FDL draft league um this battle is versus Jordan and uh let me check who this is real quick this is Jordan and I can't remember his name right now but we'll just call by this Jordy V I know he's Jordan and spin a spin around cool um and let's look at this team preview um we know i know for sure that jordan also had mega mawal yet he decided not to bring it um but we have kieran black comfy porygon 2 hoopa rotom heat and zygarde 10 versus the squad over here of latios greninja zeror ferrothorn infernape and Nita Queen. I have not seen some of these Pokemon forever. I've been playing so much Gen 8. I'm not used to Gen 7. Um, and so, looking at Team Preview, a threatening mon from the get-go is Kieran Black. Because Earth Power does so much damage to so many of his mons. With the exception of Latios, which is also weak to Ice Beam. Um, which Nita Queen is also weak to Ice Beam. So, Kieran Black is very threatening. Um, looking at the opposing team... We have Infernape, who could do some damage depending on his set. Nido Queen, you know, Zero Or, he, he doesn't really have what I would see to be threatening. Greninja is his most threatening. I can't remember if this Ash Grin or not, but I guess we'll see. Um, and the Latios, the Latios is probably his most threatening mine, and I'm pretty sure it's Mega Latios. Um, so yeah, let's get this started and see what happens. We have, jo okay, wait, wait, hold on. I have to cut the music off. That was so loud. You're probably not going to hear that yourselves in the recording anyway, but anyways. So the lead was Kiram, and yes, he saw Kiram hit his team super hard, and so he led Ferrothorn. Um, I'm going to assume he's not HP Fire. I think HP Fire would have helped out a lot, and he protects, probably scouting the HP Fire. He actually substitute Rotom. That's so nice. Um, he thunders instead of overheats. Nice prediction. Um, he goes in a Nido Queen, probably on the second Thunder. Yep. And, um, at this point, he could probably get his Toxic Spikes or Spikes or Stealth Rocks or whatever he wants up. Um, and this Rotom here might be forced to switch. But he actually overheats. There's 51. And gets the Toxic Spikes up. Okay, let's just, just like I thought. Yeah, and now pretty much Latias just walls this pretty much. And there's no leftover, so this must be Mega. And he switches out on the Thunder. Wow. And he actually has Defog. But this Rotom now does not beat um, this. And he's actually Sub-Zero Aura. And the Overheat can't break the Sub now. And he's Bulk Up Sub-Zero Aura. Okay. He overheats again to break the sub, but now what? Because you can't volt switch on Zero Aura. He switches out into Comfy. Is this but death Zero Aura? Because that Draining Kids did nothing either. Pacifist almost KOs. I think he would have bulked up again if... No, he wouldn't bulk up again. He actually subs on the right turn, and I would bulk up here. Oh, wait. That must have been a roll. Unless it's Metronome. I doubt very seriously this is Metronome. Yeah, I did 27, but the first one, it must just be a roll. That's it. He's left over Zero Aura. Mm -hmm. Draining Kiss does not break it. And we get Plasma Fist to knock him out. Um, Zero Aura, com I mean, this comes in. He thousand arrows. And, oh my gosh, they did so much. I would switch out here, but he stays in. Um, because the opponent knew that you were Scarfed. He, um, he has to be Scarfed. He outsped Zero Aura, which is max speed 423. So, yeah, he had to be the max speed, too. Um, unless it was no speed Zero Aura, which is... Either way, he knew he was fast, so he switched out. Um, I think we should have switched out here, too. But, to make the offensive double. Go Porygon 2 to trace Iron Barbs. Stealth Rocks come up. 
And here comes an Infernape. Oh, Trick Room. I wonder what Trick Room was for. Because now he gets the Overheat, but actually I would Thunder. Even though he's going Latias. Yeah, I would have Thundered there because Latias was obvious. And we get the Defog and Roost. Goes into Porygon. We get the Calm Mind up. I wonder what he's doing. So he gets Toxic here, but he doesn't. He had Toxics now. Store Power does nothing to this Porygon, though. Store Power does nothing. So he gets his Rocks up again. He tries to T-Wave. Um, T -wa double T-Wave is not the play. He actually goes into Rotom. Um, but now he's going to do is set up his sub again. It, had he switched, um, I don't know. He switched switch into Rotom earlier because that would let him set up the substitute that he now has. He has the substitute now. And, um, because all what's going to happen is that he's going to break the sub. And Zero Ore kills Drain Punch. Could Hoopa come in? But Hoopa's not Scarfed. Kieran Black could be Scarfed. But it's still doing out speed. I guess it would out speed. But Earth Power does 14%. I think we just lost the Breaking Power now. Oh my gosh. And we go. And the T Wave on the Infernape. So he decides he doesn't need Porygon 2 anymore. He goes to Kieran Black again. Now it's paralyzed. Er Earth power isn't as free as you'd like. He makes the offensive double here. But there was no reason for that play. And let me tell you why there's no reason for that play. So um, so after he KOs the Porygon 2. And here's why there was no reason for Jordan to make that play. Let's pause right here. In this situation, his Inferno is paralyzed now. And he has... um, His Inferno is paralyzed. And... It's at is boosted already, or whatever. Blah blah blah. The only reason he say this is for priority. However, he knows that he doesn't need priority to beat Kirim, apparently. You know, because Ferrothorn beats Kirim. Um, and because Ferrothorn beats Kirim, excuse me, because Ferrothorn beats Kirim, he doesn't need Infernape. Infernape is completely useless against this team now, so he doesn't have to to switch out here. Um. What he probably expects is him to switch into um, um, his Levitate Mom, which I don't know why Rodent would be the play there. I think Hoopa would have been the play. But anyway, so we watch this play here. He switches and dies to close combat. That that play was not necessary. So now he goes back to Kieran Black, and he probably switches on this turn, honestly. Because what he wants to do is sack and get back in, probably Zero Aura. Or actually Greninja. To Dark Pulse Sweep. Yup. And he's actually Ash Gran. Yup. So that's exactly. He knew exactly what he was doing. He's probably Scarf Gran too. Um. So. Yeah. As we can see. Um. What happened here in the game. Is that. I don't think he won. Even if he did not make that switch. I think he should have stayed under Earth Power because he could have. But then I think Ash Grin still came in with the um, and I don't know if he specs or not. He's not Life Orb, so I would have to assume that he is um a Scarfer maybe or Specs. Either way, um, but Specs would have definitely killed Rotom, and he's faster than Rotom. It definitely would killed Hoopa, and would definitely faster than Hoopa, and would have killed Kurum if he Specs too. So yeah, what he was waiting on was for him to kill his um Infernape and then so he could go Greninja and win. Greninja had already won at that point once he got rid of Porygon and Comfy. Um so yeah so spin spin around I'm gonna figure out this guy's name real quick so I can actually um uh tag him. Let me go to our draft league um thing real quick. But yeah but the problem still was that oh huh predictions uh, that was AM. Uh, what is his name? Uh, I think his name is just AM. Okay. So, yeah. So, AM wins. 
good job to both players. Um, I think Jordan had the proper preparations. I think it was just a. I think the subs there were really messed him up though. Once he got behind that sub, he was able to just not be threatened by anything anymore. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has been another battle of the FDL Firestorm Draft League. Um, my battle is coming up soon, so I'll have that recorded soon enough. This is Elemental Jericho signing out. See you guys on the next one.